Life Audio. Hey friends, welcome to the Hearing Jesus for Kids podcast. Do you ever feel like you want to know more about the Bible, but that it's kind of hard to understand? Do you want to share your faith with your friends, but have a hard time figuring out how to do that? Do you want to learn how to connect the Bible to your real life? Well, then this is the show for you. My name is Rachel, and I'm your host. I've been a children's pastor for a long time, and one of my favorite things is helping kids learn how to understand the Bible. I think that sometimes people think that the Bible is just for adults, but God actually really wants kids to know about Him. So on this podcast, we're going to learn all about God's big story and how He shows Himself to us through the Bible. As we learn together what the Bible stories actually mean, we can learn how to live out our faith in our everyday life. Hey friends, welcome back to the Hearing Jesus for Kids podcast. I'm your host, Rachel. Today we're going to start by playing a little game. Let's pretend I'm an old rich lady and you work for me in my house. I'm going to give you 15 seconds to get what I asked for and you have to run around the house, find what it is and bring it back. But if you don't make it back within 15 seconds, then you're out. Now, I can't see you, so I'm going to have to just trust that you're honest about whether or not you get out. So for the first thing, why don't you go get something that's red? And you can pause the podcast until you get back. You got it? Now for round two, why don't you go get something that is round? And you can pause the podcast until you get back. Did you make it? For this next round... Go get something that reminds you of the Bible. Go ahead and pause it. Did you make it back? For the last round, go get something that reminds you of Jesus. Pause it if you need to. Did you make it back? All right. One more. Go get something that you would use for a gift for someone. Did you make it back in time? I would say that all of you were pretty good servants because you tried to go get the thing that I asked you to get. If you worked for me and you were doing the things that I asked you to do, even if you didn't accomplish the goal, it would still be like you were being a good servant, a good worker, because you were doing the thing that I asked you to do, at least trying to do those things. Well, today we're reading about a different kind of servant. We're reading from Matthew chapter 20, starting at verse 20. It says, then the mother of Zebedee's sons came to Jesus with her sons and kneeling down, asked a favor of him. So right away, we see the mother of James and John, who are two of the disciples of Jesus, coming to ask Jesus a favor. What do you think the favor is that she's asking Jesus? Well, let's keep reading and find out. What is it you want? He asked. She said, grant that one of these two sons of mine may sit at your right hand and the other at your left in your kingdom. James and John's mom wants Jesus to make James and John his second in command when he rules the world. It would be like Jesus sitting on his big throne in the middle and James and John sitting on their little thrones on either side of him. Their mom wants Jesus to let James and John rule the world with him. Would you like to rule the world with Jesus? Let's keep reading. You don't know what you're asking, Jesus said to them. Can you drink the cup I'm going to drink? We can, they answered. Jesus said to them, you will indeed drink from my cup, but to sit at my right or my left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those for whom they have been prepared by my father. See, Jesus says that James and John can't rule the world with him because God has already decided who will rule the world with Jesus. We don't know who Jesus is referring to, but a good guess would be Moses or Elijah because those are two of the people that we see Jesus talking to throughout the scriptures. But if you were one of the 10 other disciples that were there, and you just heard James and John asking to rule the world with Jesus, how would you feel towards them? Let's read verse 24. It says, When the 10 heard about this, they were indignant with the two brothers. See, the other 10 disciples were mad at James and John because they didn't think it was fair for them to ask to rule the world with Jesus and not have the other 10 rule the world with Jesus too. Let's keep reading. 
Jesus called them together and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be your slave. What does Jesus say you have to do to be great? Well, you have to serve other people like a servant. That means you have to help people. And if you help people, God will think you're great. God doesn't care about how much power you have or how many things you have. He cares about if you're helping other people or not. Let's keep reading. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Jesus said that he came to serve people. He came to help people. He was God's son and part of God himself. And Jesus is the king of the whole world and the whole universe. But he didn't want people to serve him or give him power. Instead, he wanted to serve other people. And that's what Jesus wants us to do, too. If Jesus could serve other people, even though he was the king, we can serve and help other people, too, and not worry about making other people think that we're great or giving us power or anything like that. The most important thing is helping other people. And if we help other people, then God will think we're great. Who can you help? Think about that today. As you are going throughout your day, look for ways and opportunities to serve and help those around you. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for coming to serve us by dying on the cross and taking the punishment for our sins. We pray that you'll show us how we can serve other people too. Amen. Okay, friends, thanks for listening. Hey, friends, thanks for listening to the Hearing Jesus for Kids podcast. If you like today's show, I would love it if you would head over to Apple Podcasts and leave a review. That's the number one way you can support this show. If you're wanting to dive a little bit deeper, you can also join our Patreon community to get our family discussion guides, join our private discussion groups, and have access to bonus content and additional resources every month. Hey, I'm praying for you today. Know that you are so loved.